okay guys uh, welcome back and uh, now uh, we are going to talk about this uh, the you know how to fill these uh, drop downs in this website uh, i got this uh, the website uh, obviously for some reasons uh, you know due to security reasons i'm not going to display the website but you see we like to know that uh, these drop downs how we can go and you you know use the web scrapping over here how i can select uh, let's say this uh, the state or maybe you know the location uh, and uh, the property type so basically we like to go and fill some of the uh, the drop downs here okay and we like to see that how we can do it right so uh, we have already got many videos on the web scrapping and this is again uh, one of it uh, just to make sure that you should be able to use the web scrapping every on every website so let's go and talk about this. Um, the first thing which I want to do is uh, obviously I want to go and uh, create a macro and we like to go and launch the website. Okay. So let's say uh, so I'm going to say that uh, project and so we're going to uh, take any previous uh, videos, uh, the code to save the time. So uh, we're just going to copy this and uh, I'm going to paste this right like this and uh, I'm going to use the website name over here so let me just go and check the website okay once we uh, have written the code over here uh, the next thing we want to do is uh, we like to go and wait for this uh, navigation uh, the website to launch so we're going to use this uh, uh, the loop uh, so that the page can be open and this is how the page will keep on running until we have this website up okay now the next thing uh, which is the important thing is uh, we go and check in this uh, the right click and we go and check using the inspect property that uh, this uh, the you know the text box which looks like a drop down how it is prepared uh, using in the HTML okay so this is the code as you can see here and uh, I just go and uh, increase the width of this. So basically um, I can see here we have got the ID and uh, it's written under the span of the classes as you can see here. Uh, so we can pick the ID also we can pick the class as well and the title also says the same. So that means this is exactly the same you know this 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 specific uh, the control. Now um, so how it is uh, created uh, so we can check on this uh, so basically it's a part of I think uh, the div uh, it is entered uh, as a, a you know the the div is uh, the div is I think uh, the created for this I thought it uh, might be a form but that's okay uh, my job is to basically pick up the ID from here okay this one so we can go and uh, copy this and uh, just to make sure guys that you know this id shouldn't be existing anywhere else because in that case then you need to mention which id or maybe you need to run the loop you know so there are different different scenarios and for every scenario there is a different approach now if this is a unique item then i can just go and refer this by the id name but if it is this id is used uh, somewhere else also then there will be always a duplicacy you know so then there is a separate way of doing it so how we can do it um, i can just go and um, you know say control uh, F and I can paste this over here and uh, as you can see here the moment I paste it uh, it shows me this the yellow so that's okay I just want to see that if it is used as an ID somewhere so we go and say search next now you can see it is it has highlighted the one which we want to target and that's it so this is pretty cool so we are lucky here we don't have this ID repeating anywhere right so that means we can simply go and use this ID. Uh, so we come back to our uh, the code, and uh, I'm going to write this code for this uh, for the sales, right? Okay, cool. Now there's another one which is all states. So again, I uh, go and uh, just click on this uh, the inspect, and uh, so for the all states uh, we have another ID which is this one, as you can see. Again, I like to go and uh, say Control V, and I want to check that if it is somewhere else also. So let me just go and click on this down arrow, 
okay so there we go so I think uh, it's nowhere right it's just a uh, once it's coming under the ID so again this is a good news for us uh, so I go and paste this uh, also and this is going to be my all states right okay fine uh, well similarly I mean you can pick up all the rest of the items also but uh, what I do is uh, I'm just going to pick something let's say all property type so um, I go again in the inspect and so this is my the ID so we can again go and check this to avoid any confusion and uh, so I click on this okay as you can see it just shows me two times right but first time it shows under some uh, you know maybe some formatting as you can see area labeled by this is not the problem the problem would have been if this ID is you know showing two times somewhere else also I mean I won't say it's a problem but then we have to change the approach so this is a unique ID and uh, I go and just paste this over here so this is my category and uh, I think this is uh, for the property type well uh, you can fill all the details accordingly uh, my dear subscriber and uh, everybody who is watching this video but we're gonna go by this now okay so if, if we can fill this then we can fill the entire form as well okay so now I so as you know these are all the IDs right so if they are the IDs then uh, you can declare your document um, so uh, we can write here uh, let's say document as uh, uh, internet uh, HTML uh, document and set your doc should be equals to your i dot document right so document because we want to pass the this the, you know the web page right okay cool and uh, I must go and close this this is not required now okay so now once uh, we have declared the document now uh, what I do is um, I search by the ID which is uh, the doc and uh, uh, get element by ID and uh, I just went uh, use uh, this one the first one for the sales uh, let's copy this like this and dot so we can definitely go and you know fill the value equals to so what value you want so you can see I mean in the drop down what is there so let's say it it's a uh, uh, we want to put the auction so I can go and write here the auction okay auction so I simply go and copy this line again and again you go and copy this ID again uh, this is for the state and I just go and uh, copy this I just go and paste this here and so we can go and check the state over here so any state we can put, put let's say I'm gonna uh, put this Johar so I go and write here Johar and then the last one was uh, uh, this one category so copy this again so your document is going to find out all these IDs and then uh, you know the we be able to put the values inside it so uh, I think uh, so so from here or we can use that let's say the penthouse okay or maybe duplex so we can write here duplex okay fine all right so now um, I'm just going to uh, you know uh, run this uh, the page uh, I'm, I'm just going to uh, close this uh, the page and we're going to run this by the way this is my website if you like to learn uh, uh, want to be part of my live sessions uh, I teach online on weekends on weekdays also through Skype so you can just go and check out the prices here and you can let me know or maybe you can just go and purchase the training you can get the virtual access uh, for the lifetime and discount coupons are flashing here you can go and use it okay for any doubt you can email me as well so uh, anyways uh, let's uh, come back to this uh, the code so uh, I'm going to run this code and I'm, I'm going to just put the break code over here so let's first of all run the code okay there we go so okay so finally we have this page opened and uh, 
I'm going to now run this step by step. Let's go and check that if it is going to work or not. So I hit on the F8. Uh, object doesn't support this property. Uh, this property means I think the value is not the right word. So I should go and write uh, inner uh, the text. And uh, I go and run this again. Cool, right? As you can see here, I got the auction. Okay. So I just need to change this to inner text. Uh, for a moment I thought that you know that this could be a problem so but anyways now we are fine with this so I go and I'm gonna run this so there we go there we go okay so it's not set so I think uh, it's creating some problem here uh, let's go and check that what is the issue here uh, I, I see the error coming here however it has selected option and Joe right so once again I hit on this I want to show you this error I'm not going to edit the video let us go and check this so object variable not set that means basically uh, VBA is uh, unable to identify this object you know uh, so in other words uh, this uh, select to category container uh, is does not exist I mean because this is a ID uh, the web page ID and uh, this object if it does not exist uh, then that means uh, either we have not defined it properly maybe a spelling mistake can be the problem uh, I go and check and look at this I think there is a, a space okay so I go and uh, press backspace okay cool and now I hit on the F8 let's go and check that oh wow bingo so you see that guys we have been able to you know fill all these boxes so there we go so you can see here that finally i have got my auction i have got my this and i've got my duplex and, and same way you know you just need to go and check all so same way you need to go and check the other uh, you know uh, these um, uh, the controls go right click inspect element and this is the way you can go and use it i hope you have enjoyed this and i hope i was able to answer your uh, query a dear subscriber and uh, keep watching keep subscribing uh, bring more people on the channel and uh, i'll see you soon in my next video thank you so much bye bye